hello guys you are welcome to the channel and today i'll be showing you how to do the interact tax that is on block mesh so first of all before we dive into it this video is for laptop users i've tried doing this process on the phone but it's not going yet on mobile phone but i believe it will soon start going so you can as well try it on your mobile phone so first of all you need your block mesh website Secondary, you need to log in your exchange to the browser you are going to use. The exchange required is either OKS, Bybit, Binance, or Coinbase. You need to have accounts from any of these four exchanges. Then log in one of them on the browser you are going to use. Then lastly, you need ZK Pass Gate extension, which I will show you how to download it. So with these three things, you are good to go. So so when you log into your block mesh you go to the pegs in the pegs is where you will see this interact tax you understand the interact is the tax we are going to do so now first of all what we are going to do is to log in an exchange after you are done with logging into your block mesh now you are going to log in an exchange and i'll be using oks.com like i said earlier you can use any of these four browsers binance OKS, Bybit, or Coinbase. You can log in any of them. But then now I'll be using OKS. And as you can see, as I typed OKS.com, it's open immediately. That is because I am on VPN. And my VPN is connected to the Netherlands. You understand? Especially if you are in Nigeria, OKS will not open. You have to switch to VPN. Even Bybit and Binance, they will not open until you switch to VPN. So right now, I'm going to log in my OKS, which is what I'm doing now. After logging in my OKS, we will now proceed to the next step. So, I'm on it now. Normally, you can log in with your number or you log in with your email, depending on the one you can receive OTP on, I think. So, I normally use my phone number to log in to most exchanges that I have accounts on. So, I use passkey normally, so I'm going to like log in using my phone, you understand? So, now I'm logged in. This is my account. This is my OKS account. It is logged in now, as you can see. Now we are done with the second requirement. The next thing now we are going to do is to go and download the ZK Pass extension. So now I'm going to open a new tab in order to download the extension. So I use google.com. I just typed google.com. Now I'm going to search for the extension. I, I write ZK extension or you can write ZK pass extension, anyone. So I load ZK pass extension. I click on don't switch. Then the first link is where you get the extension. You click on the first link that appears after the search. So this is how it is. Now we are going to click on get that is to download the extension to your browser, which is what I'm doing at the moment. You click on it and you allow it to download. Now it's done downloading. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pin it to the dashboard so that it will be up with the other extensions on the browser. So you go to the extension tab, you click on the extension tab, you see it's done there, ZK pass, you pin it. As you pin it, you see it have appeared. Now you are going to go and open the extension. You click on it. It says ZK pass, welcome to ZK pass. Then you click on enter the word.
this is how it looks like when it opens now it says connect wallet you are going to connect any evm wallet so for this video i'll be using metamax you can use OKS, you can use saha wallet or any evm wallet you have installed on your browser you need to have the evm wallet on your browser already so i'm connecting with OKS. You connect I don't know okay it's is really slow I don't know why even after their upgrade they are still slow so here now I'm done connecting it you say switch to the network that is supported BNB base and all you can as well switch it by opening the OKS and switching to the network that you want you understand but me i choose to like switch automatically which takes its own time too so i'm switching to base you can switch to bnb you can switch to Vinya. but i like base i don't know why so i'm switching to base Can this thing just go faster? You approve. This is you approving adding the base network to your Metamax. I already have the base network. Oh, I don't know why it did not just switch immediately instead of adding it again. So this is just process of logging into the ZK Pass. If you download the ZK Pass, you click on it, you enter the word then you connect using any evm wallet as you can see now i'm connected to zk pass so right on my tabs you see zk pass you see the exchange which i'm going to use which is OKS, and now i'm going to block mesh to do the interact task so now you click on pex so that you can proceed to doing the interact tax, then you click on the interact to log in. When you click on it, it will direct you to the official interact website where you are going to sign in. This website too is also buggy, but we are going to do it regardless. It takes time, but we are going to do it. But at the end of the day, you can achieve this in a maximum of 10 minutes. So you click on sign in for the sign in i will advise you to sign in first using your google account which is what i did i signed in first with my google account then after signing in when you add other things like your wallet your s account you can always sign in with those ones but for the first time opening the interact i suggest you sign in with your google account so i clicked on google it is loading at the moment and I select the Google account that I'm going to use. Make sure that the Google account you are selecting is the same Google account you use in creating an account with Brock Mesh so that there will not be any crash at the end of the day. Use the same Google account you use in opening an account with Brock Mesh when you are signing in. And also use the X account that you linked to Brock Mesh. When it's time to link your Solana wallet, use the same Solana wallet. So, you are still signing in. Like I said, the website is kind of slow. Verification successful. So, once you sign in, as you can see here, you can see that I am following Block Mesh. First thing you have to do is follow Block Mesh. That is the first thing. Then you now scroll down to see what you need to do. First one is say follow block mesh on Twitter. Second one is say connect your block mesh email. The third one is say verify your identity on with interact proof of. This one now you need 30 humanity points for that tax to go. So that is what we are going to do first because it's actually the most important 
if you go to the requirements of this thing, they say you must complete one KYC. So we are going with that one first. The third one, which has to do with KYC. And you, as you can see there, you need 30 humanity points. So here now, I have only three humanity points. And these three points, I got it because I connected my Google account. You can see the plus sign right there. If you click on it, that is where you add your other accounts, your email, your Twitter, your Discord. Each account that you add has its own points, depending on some criteria. For instance, now if you click on Twitter, you see that you have three points. If you connect it, you are going to get extra three points. But remember what we are looking for at first is 30 points and more. I'm going to connect my Twitter account because it's necessary. Not because of the tax, but it's necessary. Twitter, email, and Discord. We are going to connect all of them. But for the sake of this video, I'll be connecting only Twitter for now. So that the video will not be too long. So I've clicked on it. I'm waiting to authorize the connection. You click on authorize app. It's slow, but we have no choice but to wait. As you can see, it is now connected. I still have three points though. Maybe the Twitter account age did not meet up to the criteria. But the most important thing is that you have connected your Twitter account. So now, next thing you are going to do is to connect your EVM wallet. Because to do that ZK pass, you need your EVM wallet connected. So we are going to use the plus sign again to connect the EVM wallet. If you use the plus sign, you go there and select the EVM wallet you want to connect. So I've already connected an EVM wallet before doing this video. Now, complete at least one KYC hub, which is 100 points if you complete any KYC hub. Then here now, this proof of uniqueness. You will see different wallets, Bybit, Coinbase, OKS, these are exchanges. So if you know the one you logged in on, that is the one you are going to click on. If you log in Binance, you click on Binance. If you log in Coinbase, you click on Coinbase. Like my owner, I logged in OKS. So I am going to use OKS. I'm going to click on OKS. Any of them that you do, you get 100 points. And we need 30 points for this proof of humanity. You understand? So, it does not matter which one you are doing. As long as you get 100 points at the end of the day. So, now I'm going to click on Connect OKS. I've clicked on it. It says, click below. Then, you click on Connect. Note, before now, you must have used the plus sign to sign in an EVM wallet. So I click on it. By the right hand side, you will see what pops up. That thing that pops up is the ZK pass. You understand? So you click on start and allow it to do its thing. Once it's done verifying, it will show you that it is done. It will automatically exit you from the page. Or if it doesn't exit you from the page, it will show verify. As you can see, it has exit. The extension is no longer here, showing that it has verified. You go back to the internet. You see it's claimed. Then you scroll up. You see now that I have 103 points, which means I have achieved what I want to achieve. Now, you can also come back here and add other things, Discord, email. If you scroll down, you will see the where you add your EVM wallet. 
Remember, add Evian wallet before going to the connect. Now that I've added, that I've gotten more than 30 points, I'm going to click on verify. Here, it is now verified. So we have two tasks remaining. Follow block mesh on Twitter. That one is simple as long as you have connected your Twitter account. So now I'm going to come here. Like if you scroll down KYC, where they really say any of them, as I have already verified the OKs, okay, I'll click on verify here too. It is done. Now I'm going to do these two tasks. KYC, any one of them is needed. I've done the OKs. I don't need to do any other one again. So you click on the Twitter tax, which is follow block mesh. If it opens, you click on follow. Then you go back and verify. Then this second one says connect your block mesh email on your internet personal page, which is that place that we have the plus sign. So first of all, you click on it. You can use this link here, or you can just go back to the internet personal page itself. So I'm going to click on this link here so that it will take me there. Continue to link. This continue to link is that place that is saying that you have the plus sign. It's not opening, so I have just have to go to that plus sign. You click on the plus, then connect email. You just have to click on it. Click on connect. Then type in the email you're using, opening the block mesh account. Then click on send OTP. An OTP will be sent to your email. So all you need is click on the space and type in the OTP. Then click on verify OTP. I'm done typing it, so I'll just click on verify. It shows that it has been verified, but it's still showing connect here. So I'm just going to leave this place and come back to it. I use the S button, then click the plus button again. You see that it says one account connected. So now I'm going to go back to the block mesh interact page. You come here, you click on next, click on next. It says visit the link first. It is still the personal link. So you just have to click on it, then come back and verify. So what block mesh needs from you is majorly verify your email and complete one KYC. You understand? So any of the exchanges you use, once you complete the KYC on it and you verify, then you are good to go. There is nothing else for you to do. Verify your email, verify one of the exchanges KYC, then that's all. You are good to go. I'm done with this particular internal tax there is nothing again i need to do but if you still need to see the tax that you completed you click on hit then you click on show completed tasks you can see three of them is completed so if this video is helpful for you like subscribe and also share to your friends that